First News alert on the push to declassify a key document in the FBI Russia investigation. Senator Lindsey Graham saying it will prove the FBI knew the Steele dossier was unreliable but moved ahead on investigating the Trump campaign anyway. Here's Chris Swecker, former assistant FBI director, earlier on America's Newsroom. FISA is a, uh, is a process that's been entrusted to the FBI. It's a very intrusive process. You have to be honest and straight up with the judges. I think that there are some strong indications that this, there was some FISA abuse here. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has more on all this. Hey, Catherine, good morning. Thank you, Sandra. Good morning. Citing newly released records, three Senate Republicans now question whether a senior State Department official warned the FBI about the anti-Trump dossier's author, former British spy Christopher Steele, and his apparent political motivation. Timing matters here because it appears the warning came in mid-October 2016, two weeks before the surveillance warrant application for a Trump campaign aide. Senators Johnson, Grassley and Graham write that a senior State Department official met with Steele and took handwritten notes that show the opposition research firm Fusion GPS, led by Glenn Simpson and Peter Fritsch, paid by Democrats, were deeply involved. According to the notes, Steele and possibly others were, quote, keen to see this information come to light before the election. Now Senator Graham wants the records declassified, including this heavily redacted October 13, 2016 email. Senator Graham believes the email was sent to the FBI and likely the counterintelligence unit running the FBI Russia investigation. The FBI has now noticed on October the 11th that their confidential informant is trying to get the dossier out for political purposes and that the State Department figured out the Democrats paid for it. How could they then go get a warrant based on that same document and not tell the court what the State Department told them? These records have now gone to the Justice Department's Inspector General Michael E. Horowitz. His office has not been commenting on the status of his investigation into alleged FISA surveillance abuse during the 2016 campaign. But based on my experience, he's got these new records that could ultimately delay the release of his report, Sandra. All right, Catherine Herridge, thank yeah. you.